For over 6,000 years, many ancient civilizations worshipped dogs, believing they could protect the dead or guide them to the afterlife. Today, we're going to explore how dogs, once wild and fierce creatures of the forest, became our loyal companions, dramatically shaping human history. It's an incredible partnership, so let's dive into how it all started amidst the tough conditions and survival challenges of prehistoric times. There is evidence to imply that domestication started tens of thousands of years ago, during the time of early Homo sapiens. Although the precise date and methods of domestication are still up for debate. While we cannot pinpoint when domestication started, the fossilized remains of a dog from 18,000 years ago have given scientists insight about when the possible evolution from wolf to dog could have taken place. The remains, named Dogor, which translates to friend, were discovered inside a lump of frozen ground along the Indig Irka River, northeast of Yakust in Russia. The dog's entire body, including its muzzle, whiskers, and eyelashes, were preserved in permafrost. Less than two months old, the male puppy, with the milky teeth shaped like an arrowhead, passed away, leaving us with the question, was it a dog or a wolf? For thousands of years, people have interacted with dogs, the first tamed creature. But our journey actually started millions of years ago, when our hunter-gatherer ancestors roamed the planet. More often than not, they came across dangerous animals on their hunt for food, one of which being the powerful wolf. Yet in the middle of this primordial dread, an odd kingship that was based on shared survival started to emerge. Our forefathers began a delicate dance of contact with these great beasts. This hesitant contact eventually developed into something quite amazing, a mutually beneficial partnership based on trust, devotion, and similar survival instincts. Primitive wolves warned their newfound partners of potential threats as they approached human settlements, offering vital defense against rival predators. Wolves most likely gradually changed their behavior during the domestication process in order to live more peacefully with people. They were domesticated for a variety of useful reasons, such as protection, companionship, and help in hunting. Behavioral adaption may have favored traits like less aggression, increased friendliness, and improved collaboration. With every generation that went by, the wolf-human bond grew stronger because early humans, just as modern dog owners, provided the wolves with warmth, shelter, and a constant supply of food. Naturally, this partnership sparked a significant change over time in both the course of human civilization and the wolves themselves. Now, the path of domestication can be divided into two key stages. First, the wild gray wolf was domesticated to become the primary dog. And second, these native canines were improved to become the varieties they currently are. If we look at the second stage, with the help of selective breeding, wolves developed into a wide variety of breeds, each specifically adapted to meet the constant changing demands of humanity. The oldest dog-known skeletons are found in the Altai Mountains of Siberia and a cave in Belgium. Skeletal analysis revealed that the Paleolithic dogs had wider and shorter snouts and relatively wider brain cases than recent wolves, and their skulls were also somewhat smaller than those of wolves. DNA studies determined all of the canids carried a large amount of genetic diversity, hinting that past wolf populations were much bigger than they are today. Research on genes has shown that dogs are descended from wolves, with an estimated 20,000 to 40,000 years ago being the most recent common ancestor. Important details regarding the dates and methods of domestication have been obtained from the DNA study of these ancient canine remains. In order to record the genetic alterations brought about by domestication, a geneticist compared the genomes of 12 wolves and 60 dogs belonging to 14 distinct breeds. The researchers discovered 10 genes that aid in the breakdown of lipids and carbohydrates in dogs. According to lab research, changes in three of these genes make dogs better than meat-eating wolves at splitting starches into sugars and then absorbing those sugars. So this means that dogs evolve to be able to eat and get energy from the same kinds of foods that humans were growing on their farms. What's fascinating is that humans have also adapted in a similar way. As farming became a bigger part of human life, people started eating more plant-based foods. And just like dogs, humans developed better ways to digest these starches. 
the researcher claims that this is a striking sign of parallel evolution. It demonstrates how humans and dogs have co-evolved to become starch-eating animals. Evidence from scientific studies, especially genome sequencing, indicates that Homo sapiens were involved in the domestication of dogs during the Neolithic era. Humans were changing from hunter-gatherers to settled agricultural communities in the Neolithic era. They probably attracted scavenger wolves with their food waste as they started to converge in one area. It's possible that some of these wolves have adapted to living close to human settlements throughout time, which is advantageous for both species. Dogs have earned a special place in many people's hearts. This position is embodied by the old age description as man's best friend. This phase perfectly captures the depth of this friendship, a connection made in the furnace of unshakable commitment, unlimited love and shared experiences. They have become an essential part of the human experience, serving as both the unwavering protectors of our homes and our traveling companions. Here's an interesting thing. There may be no place where this tie is more apparent than in the hallowed grounds of human animal cemetery sites. A moving example of the enduring bond that exists between people and their cherished pets. The moving memories of our common past have, thankfully, been recovered by archaeologists across nations and continents from various burial sites. This is evidence of an enormous influence that dogs have had on human society throughout history. In ancient Egypt, dogs were often mummified and buried with their owners, symbolizing the belief in an afterlife where they would continue to accompany their masters. In Hinduism, dogs are associated with the god Bhairava and are believed to accompany souls on their journey to the afterlife, offering protection and guidance along the way. Perhaps the most shocking burial find to date is that of 161 people from Italy who lived in the 3rd and 1st centuries found to have been buried with animal remains, according to an archaeological analysis of the remains. This implies that these creatures might have played unique roles in people's life, possibly as pets or cultural symbols. Other discoveries include the mummified black dog of Russia, estimated to be 12,450 years old. Twelve people buried in Israel, one of whom had their hand resting on the body of a small puppy dating back at least 12,000 years. These unusual pairings hint to intricate connections between people and animals that go beyond their practical uses and provide insight into the customs of the people. The way we honor dogs after they pass away reflects their deep impact on human societies. Ancient burial sites reveal that dogs were not only considered part of the family, but also played crucial roles emphasizing the values of companionship, protection, and loyalty. Even though we still don't know when this bond started, one thing is for sure. Humanity couldn't have asked for a better friend.